Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over one of the array functions, which is find first element index. So based on whatever expression or expressions you wanna uh, match in an array, it'll find the index of what's matched. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, you can see on my screen here right now, I'm just returning this simple array, A, B, C, D. Um, so if we go to data manipulation and go to arrays, we see find first element index here, which is right near the middle. And when we open this up, the first thing we do is just go ahead and select an existing array in our function stack. So I'm gonna select my variable called array. And now we define that expression. And in that expression, we use the dollar sign this variable so that it takes place of each iteration of that array. So we can say this, and we might say, let's say equal to B. So if I save, and then we just wanna return the result variable, and the result var variable will have our index. So I'm just gonna call this index here. I'll hit save. And let's change the result here, uh, just to index. And if I run this, you can see we'll get one back. So remember, if um, our array is A, B, C, D. So B is in the second place, but it's an index of one. This is because indexes uh, start at an array place of zero. So zero being the first item in the array, one being the second, sec an index of two being the third item, and so on and so forth. So just keep that in mind. Um, I also wanna show you just how we can do this with object arrays because it's just a little more practical. So let me go ahead and just return uh, same variable array, but now I'm querying all records from this um, variable stuff here, or this database stuff. And you can see we have all this uh, things in here. So let's say that I wanted to uh, find the index where workspace is in the description, right? So we can do some pretty flexible searching in the expression builder, just like in the query. So let's go ahead and first add this search here as an input so we can make this uh, element index that we're finding just dynamic. So we have array here. And then when I open this up, so we know right now the variable this is an entire one of those objects in the list, so one of those records. But we wanna actually just use dot notation to say this dot description. And let's make this equal to search, but equals an exact match. Uh, we just wanna find where that phrase workspace is in the description. So we can use filters in here because the operators are a little bit different than the query. So we, have, we can just go to the filter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use I contains, which is a case insensitive expression is found in a text string. So if I do that and make the search I'm going through, my input, and hit update, well now we don't want that equal to search. What we want is equal to true or false uh, based on if we're trying to match this search or not. And of course, we can chain these expressions with and, or, and groups uh, just to get very exact in what we're searching through. So keep that in mind. And so let's go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and return our index. So if I hit save, and let's go ahead and search. And I don't even need to search all of workspace. I could just do work. And our first matched element is three. So that's the fourth item in the array, an index of three. So finding indexes are really handy when trying to update things like object arrays in your database, uh, et cetera. So very, very handy tool where you don't need to use a loop for. Um, hopefully you found this helpful and hopefully you can implement this um, as a little shortcut when dealing with lists or arrays and object arrays.